Isn't this Ashton? I feel like it is. What's up, YouTube? It's James back here. And today we're going to be using double turtles. That's right, double turtle trouble today on the channel with Blastoise and Turtonator, a team created by Benji that he used to get number one on the Pokemon showdown ladder. And yeah, Blastoise is something that's been meta recently, and I had no idea realistically. So pretty excited to try it out because uh Eerie Impulse Thunderous with Blastoise has been a pretty strong pairing. And this one's an interesting take because we got Terminator over what would be like a Registeel usually. So yeah, and it's pretty cool because it helps against other Iron Defense Body Press Mons such as, you know, Registeel as I mentioned before. Also good against Fairphorn. And I'm pretty excited to try it out. So we will see how this team goes. But if you want to try out the team and try it out with the rental code right there. And uh, yeah, go check out Binji down below in the description. But otherwise, if you are excited for double turtles be sure to leave a like on the video it really does help me out but let's get started and play some games all right we got a snooze here with an interesting rain team the kingdra polytoed reggie eliki ferroforn tornadus and galarian darmanitan now i really really do like reggie eliki and maybe blastoise blastoise is weird because it's not exactly that good against this general team but I do like the idea of like, uh, it's good against everything else. The problem is, do you lead Eliki or not? Because I definitely think my four are, I think I definitely bring this for the Ferroform. Also good against Darm, Reelaboom. It's good against Polly, Kingdra, and Eliki. Obviously, Thunder's area impulse is really important. And then I, maybe I could bring Landers over. But the thing is, Landers doesn't do well against the rain mode either so i think i'll bring those four i think turtle is really important having turnator is really crucial to deal with the fair form especially with the burning jealousy set which can allow us to help break through fair form which is really nice here and uh we'll see how this goes because there are multiple different leads that could happen here and uh, i do gotta watch out for um handing into the wrong slot we're gonna see darm uh, eliki which is pretty ideal here i think I wonder if it's rain mode and back then. I do kind of want to eerie impulse the Eliki slot uh, because I do have answer to Darm. Glide will do a lot, but I think specifically the Terminator would do a lot. So I think I'm going to eerie impulse and I am going to cannade. This could be a Volt Switch here, I guess. If it's Volt Switch, Thunder Wave might be better in a Darm. But if I have a chance to get rid of Eliki, I'll go for it. And besides, I think with the candy damage, I'll put the Darm in Grass Glide range anyway. Thunders is probably going to go down here, but uh, not much I could really do here. So let's see. I could have also Hailstorm. That's also another potential option I could have had. But let's see what my opponent decides to do. I mean, my opponent doesn't have good switch into Reelaboom other than the Fairforn. So let's see. Uh, first, we got to find out what they brought. And they brought Fairforn. They didn't bring Kingdra plus Politoed in the back. So Eerie Impulse is going to come out into the Eliki. We will decrease the special attack. Electro up. That's perfect, actually. I'll take Electro up because I don't think the speed matters at all on Blastoise. And I'd rather get rid of Eliki. I'll trade Eliki here. Because I'll get the Canade for some decent damage. They go for Rock Slide. All right. Um, a crit on my Thunderous, which... I don't know if that mattered. It might have because of the fact it's not stab. I know it's got guerrilla tactics, but I'm not sure. We're going to get a cannade off into Aleki. Finish off the Aleki. It is focus ash, but that's fine. We have a rail boom with really threatening grassy glide pressure. So I really do like that option. And yeah, I am in an okay spot because we got rid of Aleki. We have the Darm in range of grassy glide. I don't know what kind of Darm it is though. Whether it's scarf or not, I guess. I think Glide should finish it off there. I think it's probably Choice locked into... Uh, I mean, Darm's really only run Choice Scarf or Choice Band, realistically. I'm going to go Reel Boom here. Let me see if I can figure out based on the damage. Uh, Fairphone comes out, which is actually interesting. Okay. I'm okay with that, I think. Yeah, because I have Turdinator, which can beat the Fairphone. I just got to beat whatever is in the back. Who are the options for the back Pokemon? Kingdra, Torn, and Polly. So I'll just Grassy Glide the Darm slot and I'm going to Canade that slot because I want the pressure. I could also just fake out the Fairforn. 
or just go hard into Turninator. This prevents Body Press from coming out. But I think it's fine to Grassy Glide realistically in Canade. Because I think it's decently likely they stay in Madarm. Or if they switch out, it's fine too. Because I'll get a knockout on Politoed. Yeah, that's completely fine. So they give me Politoed. And that means I get a Rain Boost of Canade into the uh, Fairform. So I get a lot of chip. Plus I get the adding damage of... Oh, it's Dynamax Fairform. Wait, this is still fine though because i have a uh i have another turtle in the back that is really good here all right um i'll take it this is definitely ideal okay perfect i get rid of polytoad with the grassy glide they might have expected fake out in the ferroform goodbye polytoad i get a bit of extra damage on the ferroform which is always nice and then I have Turninator that just wins this matchup. Okay. That was a lot easier than I thought planning wise, but. Ooh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Overgrow going to come out. Oh, rare. Okay. A lot of them are just the Iron Defense Body Press set. I'm actually glad to see uh, one of them actually has Overgrow. I wonder what the move set on the Darm is. Probably Ice of Crash. Uh, something, something. My best play here is to protect Terminator Grassy Glide, I'm pretty sure. And the really off chance I don't knock out Darm or Grassy Glide, I think I do because of the fact that Darm took chip damage plus the fact I have the grass boosting item. So I'm pretty sure I knock out Darm or Grassy Glide because Grassy Glide is just so strong from Real Boom, especially with the held item. And I guess just protect. I kind of want to iron defense, but protect is fine. Because I don't want to double protect because there's, I think Fairfront can steal spike and that would uh, prevent the Darm from being knocked out. So it's just better glide because if I don't knock out a glide, I'm pretty sure the Canade will. Yeah, I just knock it out anyway. So <laughs> Turn and Air just wins and that's just like a really fast game. <laughs> that's just a really fast game. Here comes Max Quake into Turninator. Okay. That's all Boldos too, probably. And that does zero damage, really. And what's nice about Turninator is you can't get crit by attacks. So, I don't have to risk any crits. I actually heal back all the way to full because I'm leftovers with the grassy terrain. But what's really nice here is, yeah, I can't get crit. You can't get crit by Urshifu's attacks. You can't get crit by Fair Farm. So, this is really nice here. And uh, what do we do with uh, Rilla Boom? I guess we are just going to protect here and we're going to go for the Iron Defense. Then we can body press the fair front. I mean, still spike could come out here, but then I'll just iron defense again. Burn Jossie looks like it will win the game anyway, but uh, this Terminator are going to clean up the end game right here, which is really nice. It's pretty good against fair front, which and uh, decently de uh, good against Registeel. I think the question about dealing with Registeel is can you are you slower than them? Because I actually have no idea what the Terminator speed tier is. I'm pretty sure we're slower than Registeel and we get the burn Jossie off always so we can get the burn if they ever iron defense or amnesia which is pretty good and then you pretty much beat registeel 1v1 in that match there's a lot of blastoise teams have been using registeel recently and yeah with turtonator you actually can just bypass that immensely so yeah that's pretty nice and now we can go for Woodhammer. Woodhammer is actually going to do a decent amount of fair for him just because of how strong this is in grassy terrain uh let's see uh let me double check about my turtonator real quick I actually don't know if I underspeed Registeel. It'd be really nice if we did. But that's Woodhammer and uh, Body Press. Body Press should pick up a knockout after Woodhammer, I'd imagine. We're probably going to see a forfeit. Yeah. And that is going to be the game. So, I mean, no Kingdra. That's ironically the Pokemon I was most worried about. There's no Kingdra brought. Politoed being brought was interesting because I'm not sure what Politoed really did. I guess protect the Fairform from fire type attacks. I guess my opponent didn't exactly have good switchings either. Uh, I guess they could have Volt Switch if they had Volt Switch. They could have Volt Switch in a fair front immediately, uh, which could have been problematic, of course. But I still like the Canade play turn one because, again, if they say I'm a Valaki, big punish. And yeah, uh, they weren't sure, I think, of what I could do there. Like, I could have Thunder Wave to the Darm potentially, which would have been problematic to them. So, but I mean, I don't think it would change anything realistically so i think overall i was just able to like set up terminator which i thought which was way easier than i expected uh 
element into Eleki turn one, catching the Polytoad on the switch because again, Darm was probably locked in. And even if Darm was not locked in, I think it'd been really hard because Glide would have knocked out the Darm there as we saw. Uh, Darm can't protect because it's locked in the Rock Slide, guaranteed because of its ability. And then the Fair Forward, I guess, could Seal Spike up. I think that was the only thing that my opponent realistically could have done. And yeah, there just wasn't many options for my opponent there. I feel like Ash with the star is Ash Thin. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure this is him. All right. Um, I'm down with it. So what makes this matchup annoying is that Amoongus. Amoongus uh, Zapdos is pretty scary here because the combination basically means that I have to taunt before I can rage, uh, before I can eerie impulse. And there's a chance he protects Amoongus turn one. But that's not exactly pleasant for the matchup. And I think I'm forced to bring a certain four. I think I'm supposed to bring Blastoise, Thunderous. I think I have to go Landers and Rillaboom here. Because I have no top of Feeny answer if it gets a Calm Mind up. So I have to bring Rillaboom. And I think I need Landers because I need switch-ins to that Zapdos specifically. Oh, this is going to be tough. I did not think... I think this is Ashton. I could be wrong. I'll play it like it's Ashton. But this is definitely a team it looks like he would probably use. But... <laughs> Actually, wait, this is basically a standard 2018 team. You just have no Mega Metagross available. This was literally a team that dominated 2018 for most of the season. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. All right, let's see how this goes. If they lead Zapdos plus Amoongus, there's a chance I might just want to Eerie Impulse straight away. The Zapdos... I think it's Zapdos Amoongus lead, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Metagross and Cinder is not a lead I expected. Okay. Huh. I'm fine with this lead. I'll go for the Canade here. Uh, the question is into who? Probably just Incineroar, realistically. I don't think I need to target the Metagross. Although, let's see what... Uh, what could he switch into that could take it? Feeny, I guess. And Amoongus. kind of want to Thunder Wave that... Uh, Metagross give myself extra options to uh, be able to attack. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna max cannon the incinerator just punishes a fake out or if he stays into parting shot for some reason, which I really don't think he should. I think he should always just like switch out into Feeny, which I think is a or a Moongus, which is a realistic switch. But yeah. Oh, wait, no, if he goes Feeny, it's better to Thunderbolt, right? Yeah, I guess he I think I doubled incinerator actually with Thunderbolt with uh, Eerie Impulse. We are gonna see the incinerator swap. Is this a Moongus? Okay, yeah, caught it. I don't know if this is really going to pick up a knockout, though, and I kind of doubt it, but hey, that's good damage into Feeny. Okay. I'm really surprised no Zapdos Amoongus combination. This isn't Goggles Thunderous, but maybe they're on the edge. But let's see here. I am going to Thunderbolt and I am going to Cannon right here because I want extra damage onto that top of Feeny. And yeah, the reason why I expected the top of Feeny to come in more is because of the fact that there is that chance I Thunder Wave, right? So I know he has the option to set up Misty Terrain to prevent it. So yeah, that's that's the main reason why. Uh, I think uh, if I read it more though, I should have probably just doubled up the uh, Metagross with Thunderbolt plus Cannonade and done way more damage, especially since I don't exactly have the best ways to uh, damage the uh, Metagross while I could damage the Feeny. So that is a little bit hindsight, but I kind of realized it a bit too late and was kind of like forced to lock in a move, so. A little bit unfortunate, but uh, what can you do? We will Thunderbolt our the top of Feeny slot. Good chip. Cannon's not going to knock out, though, unfortunately. But we will get that residual damage into the Blast Toys. Maybe I should yawn instead. If I clicked yawn turn one into the Metagross. Oh, that would have been so good. I would have liked that a lot, actually. Especially since I think he's going to target the Thunders for sure here. Oh, no. He went for Quake. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with him going for Quake. I mean, Metagross gets boosted, sure, but I think in the long run, I'll be okay. Especially since he's not Steel Spiking. I do have uh, potential for Landers to be clicking EQ later on. But I do need damage in that Metagross badly. So, I will go for Thunderbolt and Feeny. I have no reason not to. I could can it again, the Feeny slot. But I don't know if Feeny switches out or not, realistically. It's already super weakened. I think he might just let it go or just protect here. I think it's fine to just T-Bolt here, though. Protect is fine. I don't really need to make an aggressive play in a Feeny. And I don't 
the fundable damage does actually kind of matter but i don't think it's like that game changing where to i have to absolutely commit so can aid once again into the metagross slot we'll get some good chip into it hopefully yeah i kind of really regret not going for fundable can aid into the metagross slot earlier i would have done so much damage here comes rockfall okay does knock out my uh Okay, does knock out my uh Ooh wait, I have a pretty fire play that I can do out here actually. Oh, it's only fire if it works though, and I'm not hundred percent sure if it works. My idea here is to earthquake cannon the Metagross and hope that I put my I hope I put my blast in the torrent range. But I'd have to be under 100. I think it's doable, but the problem is if he goes Incineroar. Like, if he stays in with Feeny and sacks it, I get an EQ off and I can aid. And that would knock out. Hmm, I think I go for it. EQ should still do a decent amount of damage at minus one to where can aid might be have a chance to finish it off as well. Oh, uh, this is where I really regret not the fundable chip actually might matter on the Metagross now. That's a little bit unfortunate. All right, we'll go for selfie Q and a Mac and the cannon in the Metagross. There is a chance Max Guard, but I really doubt it. Oh, they stayed in perfect. I'm not in torrent range though, but I am able to knock out the Metagross here with the uh, cannon. So that's beautiful. And it comes down to the last two, I guess, because it's going to be Incineroar and then one more Pokemon. But the last Pokemon can't really deal with, like, Incineroar is already bad against Landorus. And I don't remember if he had a Mon specifically that's good against this. Because what do you have in the back potentially? Amoongus, Zapdos. Oh, what's the last one? Amoongus, Zapdos. I, I'm blanking out on the last one. Blastoise is in uh, Torrent range now. <laughs> okay, let's see what they bring in. Also, I think I would still been able to knock out the Metagross, it looks like, from the Earthquake damage, even after an Intimidate. It is Zapdos, okay. Incineroar here, okay. I think I go Rillaboom and, um... This is tough, because this is probably Hurricane coming out. And I don't have Protect on Landis, which makes this awkward. They do have to hit a very inaccurate hurricane though. I think I want to reset here. Yeah, I think I go um I think I go real boom here. And protect. Oh, this is such an awkward position with the Zapdos. It comes down to does do you go for hurricane here? You could fake out Landris and T-Bolt. I think that's fair too. But I feel like you would maybe want an offensive position here. I hope it's not flare blitz double up. It's Thunderbolt. Is it Flare Blitz? Good Flare Blitz call. Okay. Real even survives, but it doesn't matter because the sand is going to knock me away. Ooh, I almost considered Rock Sliding switching onto Real Boom. That's a tough position to call, though, so. Real Boom goes down. Unfortunate, but it's okay. Canade damage is still on deck though, but I think that's the last canade I got off damage. What? Wait. I was about to say, where's the canade damage on Incineroar? Okay. Is it Citrus? Not Citrus, but Rock Slide doesn't KO at that range, I'm pretty sure. Get in Landis for an Intimidate round. Is it better than Rock Slide or is it better Sword Stance? I'm trying to figure out the math here. So, so you have to target the Zap. I'm pretty sure you have to target the Blastoise here with Zapdos always. And then Incineroar is going to go for Flare Blitz. I'm trying to figure out do I lift minus one Flare Blitz into Hurricane? Because if I do, I go for Sword Stance here to minimize the chance of me having to connect Rock Slides. Because I only have to connect two instead of four likely here. Or do I just uh, Sword Stance here? I feel like with Bulky Landers, I might be able to do it. I'm going to go for the Sword Stance here. We're going to see T-Bold into the Blastoise. There's also, like, the factor is, um... A ten <sighs> this is so close. I could have also got a Rock's, like, crit off into Zapdos, too, which would have helped seal the game, I think. 
but I'm also risking Flareblitz crit. I don't know. There are a lot of factors to be involved in. Flareblitz is going to come out. I don't know if I'll live the life of Hurricane. They have to hit Hurricane though. That is one factor too. They do have to hit Hurricane. I didn't want Rock Slide to happen. Incineroar lives, gets a Pinch Berry, and then like lives another Rock Slide, which is why I didn't want to go for Rock Slide in that position. We go for Rock Slide now and we'll see what happens with Hurricane. We have a Lumberry in case they confuse if we live. And we dodge a Hurricane. But that does oh my god, we get the same position over. I mean it's still it doesn't really change anything. It comes down to the hurricane anyway. But now um now Incineroar Rock Slide Dodge is out of the question. So I guess that's a factor in the equation. I don't think Sandstorm affects Hurricane. I'm pretty sure only Sun affects Hurricane's accuracy too. And obviously Rain, but that's positive, not negative. Rock Slide. Hey, hit. Need to live. Ah, uh, good game. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with that though. Pretty close game. I'm trying to figure out where I went wrong. I think turn one. Yeah, as I said before, I didn't need the damage on Feeny. Absolutely. I got to play right. I kind of got a read, but I think I could have got a better read off if I targeted the Metagross. Because as we saw, that Canade was doing a lot of damage. I was wondering how I wonder how much Canade would have done to the Metagross earlier with a T-Bolt, especially. I think I would have probably put it super low to where another Canade would have knocked out. And then I would have also had fundable pressure in the Feeny, or I could have taunted or eerie impulse. And the Feeny wouldn't have been that big of a threat. And I could have also kept my Zapdos around if I was able to weaken Metagross and finish it off with two Canades. So yeah, I think that's probably where it went wrong. Otherwise, the other big turn that we could look back on is that uh, switch to Rillaboom. Really good call on his part for the Flare Blitz and the straight up Thunderbolt. I was in a really tricky spot. I don't know what exactly would counter that. I think the only counterplay I really had was real of boom for Blastoise and Rock Slide, but still puts me in an awkward position because my Landis would be taking a neutral Flare Blitz, which is not exactly appreciated in that position. So, yeah, and like I would be minus one, so I wouldn't be doing that much damage to Rock Slide. I would have like, but maybe it was a better call, I guess. If I got the rock slide off realistically, because who knows rock slide into like the sand damage into like the life warp chip into grassy glide might have actually been able to knock out Zapdos. So looking back at it, that might have been a mistake as well. So yeah, that's definitely something that could have like been better upon. But yeah, pretty good game. If that was Ashton, a good game to him. If that was someone else, a good game well played. But yeah, and that is going to be the end of this video. Blast toys. Doing a lot of work. Canade is kind of crazy. Surprisingly, Blasters is better than it has ever been. It really is. Or maybe it was always this good. And maybe we were just underestimating it the entire time. But yeah, it always shifts. It's always it's always interesting to see whether meta progresses. And Blastoise got better. It did. And Terminator was super cool to use. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, again, please sure to be giving a like to this video down below and leave a comment as well. And if you want to try out the team, go check it out and go check out Benji's Twitter. I'll link him in the description down below. But thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day, people. And until we battle again, I'll see you all later.